Hi guys, it's Naz from DMCGaming.net and today I'm just going to show you how to install themes on TeamSpeak 3. Uh, I have a few people coming on our TeamSpeak and on our forums on DMCGaming.net and requesting, well asking help on how to install the actual themes. Uh, we have two themes, uh, well we have many more than that available uh, at the moment, the most popular we have is the Battlefield 3. You can get these at uh, addons.teamspeak.com and under themes, if you click things, skins and then themes. We have Battlefield 3, which is at the top there. Another one I call Duty Modern Warfare Elite Edition, made by Lucinda, mostly black and green. Made 3 myself, the Battlefield 3 edition, is which is here and also uh, made the two Call of Duty ones, one black edition and one white edition. I will show you how to install it. Um, there was another uh, another way, I'll also show that as well. The first way was that now that TeamSpeak has changed their way of installing these files now. So how it works is, once you've gone to our page, uh, if you go to the download, you'll see it says install now. When you click that green button, it will download. As you can see, mine is downloaded right now and if you open that within folder I'll just copy and paste it now to the desktop just for now just to show you and uh, what you'll see is this icon it looks like TeamSpeak 3 uh, when you double click it this will oh, you just allow that this will come up it'll say name they what they, what they have done is new system before it was just a zip file where we just put files like the GFX folder and the styles QSS folder in one area. Now it's an extraction thing that they've come up with. Now if you have a Windows 64 bit you'll see it'll install on the C drive program files TeamSpeak 3 client. That's the actual folder. For uh, Windows uh, 32 bit you'll find that it will install it on the actual uh, win program files A6. That's where, hopefully, this is where you have yours in installed, TeamSpeak installed. All you have to do is just click install and it will say access successfully installed. Once that is done, what you just need to do is uh, go to your settings, options, and then you need to click on design. Once you click on design, uh, how this theme works is where it says system defaults, so there's a few people saying when they click on the text it just goes black. It's because you're on system default on different version. The style you need to click is plastic in order to see the text clearly. Then the theme should come up, it should say BF3. And then, and then if you also want to install the icon pack that I've done as well, it's just the base icon like the folders and the tree view. Also click uh, BF3. Now you just hit apply <coughs> and you supplied it and obviously you're saying the team speak We'll use the selected icon pack the next time it restarts. Click OK, click OK, close it, and then just restart it. And then when you click on whatever bookmarks like our clan, once you're connected, you see all the folder icons have changed, the tree view has changed as well, all the information laid out has changed as well. And uh, that is installed. This is how it should look. What you need to do as well, as you see, I've already got mine switched on, I'll take mine off. Uh, how yours you should yours probably come up like this if it comes up like this you need to click anywhere around this empty area and then click server tabs that will fix the issue that's what is needed that's for when you have multiple team speaks involved so you can switch between the different servers that you have on there you need to have that uh, enabled or it'll just look like this and it will not look <laughs> originally did so sorry about that guys you have to have that enabled to make it look great uh, you might have the master volume selected but you can't see it so I just hide that and um, that, that's that really that's how it works it should not get the text should not black out when you click somewhere else on somebody's name it should just be highlighted that's that should work um, the other one I will uh, sh same thing with the other one as well when you actually go to the website we go to themes and then if we go find the other Modern Warfare 3 ones that I've created I think it's all in alphabetical has changed I think it was featured I cannot remember and uh, there you go, you'll find the Modern Warfare Black Edition and the White Edition it should be the same way to install it as well as uh, when you click it and it's install now it will download once it hit there you go and then if you run it 
it should install it at the exact right place. Sorry about that, I got a call. And that should install it. it. I'll also show you how that looks as well. If I were to change options and uh, just go to the black edition, also take to, to change the icon pack applied. Obviously, if, see at the moment the BF3 ones show up, but to get to get that to work, you just restart your TeamSpeak, and that changes it for you. So everything there changes, all the folder icons, colors change, all the layouts change as well. Same thing with the white edition. It just it's just called Modern Warfare 3. Do the same thing with the icon pack. Um, I think the icon pack is that same, so I'll, I won't restart that because that's how it'll look. And uh, I just hope you guys enjoy that. Um, if it doesn't work, uh, I will also put in uh, links and under the description. Uh, what you will need to do is you you'll have to download the zip file. I'll just download it from my Dropbox now, and uh, I will. Uh, show you guys how it works just uh, it's a zip file all you need to do is extract it somewhere I was extracted to my desktop uh, I'll just put the put it right there you just double open it what you'll see is two folders one that says styles and uh, the other one you'll see that says GFX right what you need to do is go to your computer your C drive now if you're 64-bit you'll just go to the program files if you're running 32 -bit windows you go to the windows 86 I'm running 64-bit so go window programs then you need to find TeamSpeak just hit T in your keyboard and it shows up TeamSpeak client this is your main directory you'll see here it says stars folder and a GFX folder star folders normally wait what I'll you know it's just you put in your QSS file that's your main file and then actual file there and then your GFX folder is for your icon packs. So what you just need to do in that folder is just if you just copy, set Control C. I'll just right click and copy that. And all you have to do in the main directory of Teamspeak 3 client is right click and paste or Control V. And then it'll say it'll, because mine's already got it in there. It says you and replace it. So I'll show you what I'll do. I'll just delete. Uh, which one is it? The BF3 one. So if I just delete. Let me close TeamSpeak just in case. Uh, delete BF3. Yes, continue. And also in the styles folder, there should be a BF3 QSS. I'll delete that and the folder and delete that because that's now deleted. Uh, I'll just go to the main directory again and copy these two folders and paste in, and it will say. Uh, do you want to put them in here, merge folder, just say yes, yes again, and continue. And that should put it in there. Once it's in there, uh, just go back to TeamSpeak 3 client and hit settings, options, make sure you start as Plastique, BF3 should show up, and BF3 there folder should show up, and click apply, and it should apply for you, and all it should be running. Uh, make sure you restart if you've got another theme plugged in. and. Uh, that's that's about it. Uh, that's what I can explain. That's everything there. Hopefully, this should clear out some of the problems. If you do have any more problems, uh, you can contact us through the actual uh, TeamSpeak itself. Please uh, vote for your favorite and leave a review. That will help us out. Or come to our forums at dmcgame.net and uh, just uh, leave a comment saying if you have any problems you have a we have a section for that it's uh, teamspeak 3 custom skins uh, sorry teamspeak 3 custom skins area just go into the sign up takes a couple of minutes and uh, just give us your feedback and if you find any problems just let us know and um, that's about it uh, I think I'll clear everything up for you guys hope you enjoy the skins we do have other ones uh, people are currently working on some TF2 ones there are some other ones coming soon I might work on another Battlefield 3 and another Modern Warfare 3 until the, when the game comes out with better screensavers and not screensavers wallpapers and other images and uh, uh, I should see you guys soon bye